What is the perfect girl? The perfect woman? What does she look like? How does she act? These are the million dollar questions that all us men ask ourselves at some point in time. But the reality is for most of us, the perfect girl looks a little bit different for everybody. You might like your girl thick in all the right places. And some men like them real thin and fun in the right places. Some of y'all like girls that can cook and clean. And some of y'all like women that are just a little bit more athletic so you can gym with them, but still just feminine enough to call them your little baby. As men, we like what we like. Your perfect girl might look a lot different from mine. But if there's one thing I know for sure, there's a long list of things that most of us men universally hate in women. And more than likely, if she does any of these things, we don't want nothing to do with her. So for my ladies, take your notebooks out. It's time to go to class. And for my fellas, I know a lot of y'all about to relate to this shit because this is seven types of girls you should not date. Up first on the list, we got Mrs. Way Too Bougie. I ain't gonna lie, I can't stand a woman that's way too bougie, bruh. This is the type of girl that's too good for anything, leaving us as the men never feeling good enough. You could take her to dinner and spend your whole goddamn paycheck trying to impress her on Valentine's Day, but she over here complaining because you didn't spend enough. It's her birthday and you just bought her a dozen roses. But she could care less because you didn't buy the brand of roses that's currently trending on TikTok. You see, there's virtually nothing you can do to impress this type of woman. The only reason she started dating your dumb ass in the first place is because she thought you were an again of higher stature. Or she probably thought you had a lot of money. They're only looking for what they can gain financially and for higher status in life. That's the only thing this type of woman wants out of a relationship. Listen, my young kings. Read the signs, stay away from these type of women. Look, I think it's really important as a man that we do the best we possibly can for our women. But at the end of the day, you want a woman that appreciates you for your hard work and effort. I feel like that's fair. Regardless, next on the list we got Mrs. Too Insecure. The fact is all human beings have insecurities in some way, shape or form. But today we're talking about women with insecurities. And even though that's okay, but a woman that is too insecure, well, that's just a recipe for disaster, my boy. This is the type of woman who's gonna start a fight with you at dinner because you happen to look in the eyes of your- Go sit down. This is the type of woman that's gonna start a fight with you at dinner because you just so happen to look into the eyes of your waiter, who also just so happens to be a female. Why were you talking to our waiter? I saw the way you were looking at her. I knew you didn't even love me. Like what? I'm sorry I spoke to another female in your presence. Trying to order food for the both of us, by the way that I'm paying for. Like, damn, cut a neck some slack. This type of woman's always gonna make a problem out of everything. And these problems are always gonna stem from her insecurities. Constantly comparing herself to others. Seeking petty sympathy out of her partner. The only way you could truly satisfy a woman like this is if you walked around blindfolded everywhere with a t-shirt with her face on it. Letting everybody know that she is your girlfriend at every waking moment. Trust me, boys, it ain't worth it. For third place, we got Mrs. Too Ratchet, or Too Ghetto, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. Now for this one, I do recognize, depending on the type of nigga you are and your background, you might actually like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and strongly assume that most men don't. Because in my experience, these women are over masculine and very aggressive. And I get it, trust me, girls can be tough too, that's fire. There isn't anything wrong with that. But a woman that's just too ratchet is universally a problem. Let me explain. I personally don't like going to clubs. That's not really an activity that I partake in, at least not willingly. But one night, one of my homies was able to convince me to come with him to experience it for the first time. And I'm a firm believer that experience is important in life. So I agreed. I could give you the scope of that full experience on another video, but as we were waiting in line to get inside this club, there was this huge 6'10 Hulk looking nigga. Okay. I'm talking monstrous, bruh. Buddy was pushing through the line to get to the front, and I'm not gonna lie, he wasn't being polite about it. He was damn near shoving the guys to get the way for real. But me personally, I'm not about to fight somebody over that shit. I don't know him, and I don't know his situation. So a nigga happened to brush shoulders with me, just a little bit more aggressive than I'd like. 
it's not that big of a deal. Call it what you want, but it ain't that deep. I got a life to live and I got goals to achieve. I wasn't about to get my skull crushed in over a club night that I damn near didn't even want to be at in the first place. So I need you to believe how perplexed I was when I saw this couple in front of me that happened to get shoved by this guy when he was pushing through the line. And when I tell you this Mexican girl, bruh, just started yelling, oh hell nah, you not about to cut us in line, you ugly gorilla ass n Look at her boyfriend's face was full of shut the up, up, please. I could just tell that this wasn't the first sticky situation that his girl has put him in because she had a loud mouth. Always trying to start problems and shit with people. Problems that he, as the man, now has to deal with. Yeah, I watched that nigga get his ass beat that night because his loud mouth girlfriend couldn't contain herself. I really could go on the ratchet girl for days because, bruh, I just think it's funny how... These type of people, they pick fights with people and make things such a big deal over and over and over again. It seems to be like a pattern in their personality, right? But when it comes down to it, the boyfriend is always the one that has to pick up the slack on a fight that they started. As a man, you're supposed to protect your woman. That's a fact. But your woman also shouldn't be putting you in positions to be fucked up all the time. Like, at that point, that's kind of a burden. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, ghetto bitches... That's a no-go for me, man. Now in fourth place, we got the girl who only has a big mouth in front of the homies. Now before we dive too deep on that, as a man, you gotta know how to man up and take a joke. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a girl that has some personality that decides to make fun of you in front of your friends. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I actually think that's a pretty healthy characteristic you want to have in your woman. You want to be able to enjoy her company, especially around your friends and shit. Like a girl with no personality and humor, that's boring. Who wants that? Like I had this one girl I was dating that would always crack the same joke in front of my friends, bro. I fucking hated that joke. <laughs> I always say I looked like Sid from Ice Age. I fucking hate when people say that. The reason I hate it is because people say it so much. Apparently it's true. I don't see the resemblance, but it is what it is, I guess. So anytime she said that shit in front of people, people would laugh and it was a good time. There's no harm in that. Even though it kind of like poked fun at me a little bit, I think that's cool. I'm never gonna be mad at my girl poking fun at me or anyone at that matter. Like niggas need to know how to take a joke. But what is absolutely unacceptable is a woman that always makes it her life mission to disrespect you in front of your peers. Why does she feel the need to air out all your personal business in front of the homies? That ain't cool. Because when y'all alone, she's always super nice, super cuddly, talking about how you're her rock and all that goo goo gaga bullshit. But when your homeboys pull up, she talking about, Berto told me he don't even like you niggas. He talk shit about y'all all day. Whoa, 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 first off, that ain't what I said. But if I have a personal issue with one of my homies and I come home to vent to you, my woman, my supposed left hand and rock, and tell you some shit in confidence because you're my girlfriend, I don't expect you to blow the fuck sneak spot up when I'm hanging with my boys. Or even worse, this is the type of girl that's gonna start just saying absolute lies. Like bullshit trying to be funny in front of people. But there's a difference between funny and disrespect. Talking about, oh, this nigga, he ain't shit. His pee pee small and his stroke game weak. And he sucks my toes. And I spend all his money. And he won't do shit about it cause he kinda be acting like a birth shit. Real. I get you trying to put on a show for the boys right now, but you're really just making yourself look bad and now nobody likes you. Because all you doing is capping your ass off. Now in fifth place, we got one that's kinda two-sided again, depending on the type of guy you are. But in my opinion, I don't think it's good to date a girl that's too damn horny. I mean, personally, I'm always down for some freaky time. That's cool. Especially if it's with your significant other. But when it starts to get a little bit like, ugh, everywhere, anywhere, that's all they think about 24-7, and they applying pressure. You shopping in the middle of Target. She trying to go crazy. You having a family dinner with her parents for the first time. She trying to go crazy in the bathroom. You stuck in traffic on the freeway. Fuck it, the cars ain't moving anyway. You at church in the middle of a Sunday service. Stop, pick up the Bible, pray, and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> Look man, in all seriousness, this one on the list, it's not that big of a deal, right? They're definitely worse things but I really do think it's pretty annoying when a woman is only driven by sex. Like she don't got no substance to her, you know what I'm saying? Outside of getting nasty, 
what value does she provide? You could barely hold a straight conversation with her without her trying to unbuckle your pants. Me personally, I want a woman that also has a good head on her shoulders. No pun intended. But having that type of head is also good. Six place the pathological liar this one doesn't need that much explaining nobody likes a liar and if you're dating a woman that lies about everything i'm talking about she lies about shit that don't even matter bro like why are you lying hey babe i'm just gonna run out and go to the grocery store i just need to get some stuff oh yeah for sure just be safe but instead she snuck off to the mall to go shopping like why did you lie i don't understand what the point of lying is if you want to go shopping just go shopping i do realize that some those are just lame as fuck. Oh, they're control freaks which ultimately leads to women lying about everything. But me personally, I don't give a fuck what my girl wants to do. Do what you want to do, love. Just keep it real with me so I can do the same. Because there's nothing worse than being in a relationship that you can't even trust with the little things. Like, it's almost better to know that my girl is a cheating bitch. Because if that's her truth, at least you know, nigga. It ain't no surprise. But when she just a lying motherfucker, huh? There's not much you can do because you don't even know. So if you're dating somebody that just be lying for no reason, I'm talking white lies left and right, like it's uncontrollable. It ain't worth it, bro. Leave her. Number seven, last but not least, arguably the worst on this list. Because if you're subject to this type of woman, you honestly need to look in the mirror and figure out what is going on in your life. I'm talking about Mrs. Control Freak. She's a no-go, my boy. Now, before I start bashing Mrs. Control Freak, I'm not on that red pill, blue pill bullshit. I don't put myself in a box and submit my life to shit like that. I live my life on what I think is important based off experiences that I've had and experience and things that I've learned from other people. Male figures that I look up to in my life. I think way too many people get too caught up in the red pill, blue pill bullshit because if you're a nigga with a brain, you understand that you can agree with some of the things that somebody says and disagree with other parts of what somebody says. You don't need to pick a side indefinitely. I don't know why everybody wants shit to be so black and white. Apply the shit that you like and don't listen to the shit that you don't like. Because the truth is, there's good and bad on both fucking sides. So one thing that I think is super important in relationship is having a level of equal respect. I think a woman traditionally should look up to her man, look at you for guidance, inspiration, protection, help. The list can go on forever. And I also think the woman should provide a lot of values that are also equal to some of the things I just said. Regardless, we need each other. I might be better at this, she might be better at that. When we come together, it's supposed to be this big, great thing. But what is absolutely unacceptable, bruh, is when some of you niggas get carried around on a leash by your girl, bruh. Come on, man. I hate seeing that shit. <laughs> man up, bruh. I'm talking about the guys that want to go hang out with their bros for the day. Like, you just, you want to just get some alone time away from your woman. You want to just go do you for a second. But your girl said, no, you need to stay here and rub my feet. And the worst part is, you listen, my nigga. <laughs> you played yourself, bro. As much as I want to tell you to stay away from this type of woman, if you as a man find yourself in these type of scenarios, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You need to take a look in the mirror because <laughs> you got some work to do because we got to call a spade a spade. If you acting like a bitch, she's going to treat you like one. It's really important to listen to your girl, especially if she's a good girl. A lot of times girls are smarter than us, but the difference is you need to be listening to a woman who respects you as a man and not the woman that just wants you to do her bidding. At the end of the day, be a man, find the right woman for you because the one that's 100% right for you might be 100% wrong for me. All this shit's opinionated at the end of the day, right? I'm just giving you mine. And for my female viewers, don't worry, ladies. If y'all show me you want it, I definitely got the seven type of niggas you don't want to date. We all have our flaws and we all got a lot of improving to do. But I think the first step in recognizing what we want out of our partner is looking in the mirror and asking yourself, do you even have the qualities that your ideal thought of a partner even wants in the first place. Sounds like
Everything changed so fast. Got the money hit my dash. Living like it's my last. Pray to God I ain't on crash. Cause you know that I'm up next. 